thank you for joining me. This is the Becky Tao YouTube channel. It has been a while since I've been on here, and so thanks for tuning back in. Um, uh, in this video, I will be uh, sharing with you the uh, Jean Lu Foundation. Um, if you have not tried it before and you're curious on how it turns out on a um, person like me, which I have dry to sensitive skin, um, stay tuned. And even if you don't have the same skin uh, type as I do, if, and you're still curious about how it uh, blends, um, definitely uh, stick around. So then I'm going to start off with my primer first. So I'm going to take my Cover FX Blurring Pouring Pour Lines in and I'm going to blend on my face. Oops. I haven't used this primer in a long time, so it kind of clumps up a little, you know, but um, since COVID, I haven't been out, so I haven't had to use any of this primer, so it's kind of drying on me, so I'm glad, kind of glad I have some use for it now. Because like I said, a lot of the foundation I used, I didn't necessarily need to put this primer on. Like I had foundation from Tarte and uh, Tarte and Cover FX and I didn't need to use primer. I only needed to set the primer. But for Jean Lu's, uh product, I have to do this. I have to use this kind of blurring prime under it. Okay. That's just for my skin. Because um, if I don't, then a lot of my the wrinkles on my face will show um, and that does not that is not what I want nobody wants that right when you put foundation on you want to hide your wrinkles not show them okay all right and um, it's up to you if you want to put concealer on but I'm gonna put concealer on just to brighten up my skin a little since it's a little gloomy. Um, Jean Lu does have a primer as well. It's a smooth color concealer, which is this one. But I find that, um, again, with my skin type, I prefer liquid concealer over a more drier concealer. So keep in mind, if you have drier skin, this, her smooth cream is a little bit thicker, okay? And so uh, it's effect and impact on a person like my skin type is gonna be very different and I actually I don't like it so this product might work on someone that has normal to oily skin but at least it doesn't work on me so I prefer liquid concealers like this so um, I because it just blends better um, it just smooths out better around my eyes and some fine lines so I usually just dot under and I just use my beauty blender and just kind of pat under yeah. we're gonna move on to uh, the actual Jean Lu foundation okay so when you open so you know when you first see this bottle it's really luxurious I love that I love the um, I do like the aesthetic of it seems very luxurious um, and professional and then you just take this cap off Ooh, just take this cap off and then it comes with this nozzle here and which you can squeeze onto your face or your fingers that's what I see uh, her do all the time on her live shows um, you can even put it on the beauty blender originally I usually put it right on my face but because she always says a little goes a long way and a lot of people do say a, a little bit of foundation goes a long way um, I'm probably just gonna do how she does it where like, she'll put it on the finger and then she'll like spread it on her face so I will do that for her as well as well because um, yeah I mean I think a fingertip amount isn't bad too so I'm just gonna start blending and um, everywhere okay yeah I've been like wanting to try a foundation for a while you know but I just haven't 
gotten to yet. So when when I finally did, um, I went to her store at Moon Village, located in St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, she was in the store, and um, I would, I just asked her, just pick my pick my foundation tone. I have no time to try to figure it out on my own. I don't. I have no time to figure it out on my own. <laughs> so, she picked uh, number forty-one as my skin tone. The foundation that I got from Yasmi, it's a lot darker because when I first when I when I bought her foundation, uh, it was during the summertime. So therefore, my skin was a lot tanner. But when winter comes, my skin usually becomes pale again. Um, and originally, I wanted to kind of do like a Yasmin and uh, Jean Luc comparison, right? Where like I like put a tape in, 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 in between my face. Or like one side would be like Yasmi, the other side would be like Jean Blue Foundation. But then I realized that looked really funny because it's not the same skin color. Yasmi's foundation is a little darker when I bought it because it was in the summertime and I went to Puerto Rico. And Jean Blue's foundation, I just bought it like uh, recently. So it was just like the end of winter time. So it, I would look really funny. So that's why I decided to just do like a full video review of the Jean Lu uh, foundation just like how I did with the Yasmi foundation. Um, she does say that this uh, foundation is transfer proof. Um, I, I don't think it's truly transfer proof though because last time I wore this makeup on her foundation it kind of uh, it like came off. So, forwarding you okay. all right okay so now that I have only foundation on what do you guys think so honestly for me I don't usually put powder on my face and for Jean-Louis foundation um, if I don't know if you can see it clearly, but like the coverage isn't that great for me because it still shows like my wrinkles here under my eyes. I don't know if you can see it through the video, okay? But um, and it kind of still kind of shows on top of. Well, it, I think it blends okay on my forehead, but then like it just is not doing a great job at, under my eyes. And that's the only like um, issue I have with this. Well, that is the issue I have with like wearing her foundation, unfortunately. Um, so I probably will use Jones Lewis foundation minimally, but it, it's not my favorite. Uh, I've tried other foundations that does cover my uh, wrinkles a lot better and my dark circles and bags um, and it, I do feel a lot younger like it just doesn't make my face feel good either so if I was to rate Jean Luce foundation on my skin type 1 to 10, 10 being the best and 1 being like not that great I'd probably do like a, like a 5 So here, um, I'm using Cover FX setting powder. Let's see if it'll make a difference to, on her like uh, foundation. Okay. Sometimes this is what you gotta do, you know, when you're testing things out, you just have to test and try it out, you know. Test and try it out. See what works for you. Sometimes, you know, it's not gonna work on your skin, and sometimes it will. But you will never know until you try it, you know. But if you have my type of skin, yeah, it might not be. You might not be, you, you might find it that there's some things that you would want the foundation to improve on. Okay. 
So, it looks like the setting powder is kind of optional for you. Sorry, that's my mom. She's calling, but she's probably curious when I'm going to go and pick up money, but I will grab it. I'll pick it up later. Because I'm doing this for you. This video is for you. <laughs> okay. So, you know, setting powder. It's a give and take. I don't... Like, it all depends. Like, I usually don't use setting powder when I'm doing my foundation. But sometimes I do. So I only use setting powder when I find that the foundation is too shiny on my face. And it's not setting correctly on my face. So in this case, with the Jean Hu foundation, I, I need the powder to set it. And um, it's okay. It's fine. I think in the camera, you can see still, I don't know, the camera looks like, it looks fine. But in reality, um, there's still something a lot missing and I'm not a huge fan of like this part it still shows my wrinkles here like this huge line there another huge line there so um, I hope this helps gives you a great idea um, let me know what you think about Jean Hu foundation when you tried it what your thoughts were and comment below and if find this video helpful please like and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos to come and so overall I'm going to get on and putting more makeup on so I can um, start my day I'll be I got a sister date in a bit here so thanks for joining me and uh, talk to you later see you later bye